Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an evening of stand-up comedy. Right now, we want a full Monday, cranked up, throw down, fifth gear. Welcome for me, the act, Ben Elton. Thank you. Yes, indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for that tumultuous reception that you threw down for me right there. And let me tell you now, for any of you who are worrying that that was the last piece of audience participation that I will be requiring tonight. Okay, so no wallies, no dildos, nice piece for the audience, me comedian, you audience will all get out of here in a nice perfect time for the pubs, okay? I do not dig audience participation. I think it short changes the audience, because you know that a comedian has run out of gags when he or she says, and now I'm going to choose a person from the audience. <laughs> and you don't need to be a mind reader to realize the first three rows of people are going, fucking hell, I hope he doesn't choose me. <laughs> now why? Why do they hope the comedian doesn't choose them? Why? I mean, they could turn in a piss off, couldn't they? <laughs> they piss off, I'm not getting up on stage. Get up. Get on with your job, I paid, entertain me, fuck off! <laughs> Do I ask you to come down where I work and polish my lathe? No! <laughs> but we don't say that, do we? I mean, the British, we don't know how to be honest. I mean, come on, in, in the street, if a bloke in top hat and tails with an attractive female assistant walked up to you and said, will you check there's no rabbits up my sleeve? You'd say, fuck off, wouldn't you? <laughs> but in a theatre, you pay eight quid and you'd be embarrassed out of your head. Oh, do you have a nice time, darling? Yeah, I made a dildo of myself in front of 600 people. <laughs> It's amazing that we don't know how to be honest. I mean, we can't, we cannot tell the truth. You're in a restaurant, right? You're in a restaurant and you're having a bit of a meal with, with a partner of your choice, etc. And uh, you're going, it's the worst food I've ever had. It's the worst food, I can't believe this food, it's the worst, I can't believe it. I cannot believe this food, it's the worst food I've ever had. Up comes a waiter, how was your meal, sir? It's lovely, it's beautiful, lovely, thank you. <laughs> I mean, why? We're always apologising for what isn't our fault. We're always saying sorry, you know, some big bloke in a pub bangs past you, go, oh, sorry, mate, you know. And somebody smacks you in a mush, you go, oh, sorry, mate, my chin was in the way, you know. <laughs> I you say, waiter, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, waiter, I'm sorry, 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 waiter, sorry. It's just there's a pubic hair in my soup, sorry. I mean, what am I apologising for? It's not mine, it's fucking blonde, you know? <laughs> we have to learn to tell the truth, you know? Because otherwise we can't sort our environment, you know? We accept everything that is handed to us. From awful food to awful traffic system. I mean, the traffic system on my mind at the moment because I've been on tour, right? And if you tour Britain, you know that Britain is one vast contraflow, okay? One vast line of bollards. I've got to a point where I can't get out of my fucking bedroom at night without a load of cones to follow it away, you know? <laughs> but what are these bollards for? They're completely useless because, ladies and gentlemen, they bear no relationship whatsoever to the extent of the roadworks, right? <laughs> In London, you could have an enormous great cosmic pit with tube trains running at the bottom of it, and it is being protected by a little bent metal tin triangle kicked to the side of the road, right? <laughs> On a motorway, you can cruise past 30 miles of contraflow, and in the middle, there's a wheelbarrow on the hard shoulder. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing. Just loads of motor motorway maintenance cars cruising up and down, going, we can drive up the hard shoulder. We can drive. <laughs> what are they doing? What are those cars doing? There's no work going on. Why are they driving up and down? There's nothing happening. I'll tell you what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what they're doing. They're going to the back of the queue, picking up the bollards, driving to the front, and putting them down again. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the sign for roadworks is a triangle containing a man digging. <laughs> what? When was the last time you saw anyone digging at the side of the road? <laughs> or anything else going on for that matter? I'll tell you what the sign for road work should be. A triangle full of fuck all. <laughs> fuck all will go on till September. <laughs> Delays due to fuck all. And then, then there should be another Fuck all end. End. <laughs> Oh, fuck all. There is no more fuck all. <laughs> fuck all is over. You may proceed without fuck all, 
Well, 300 yards, just enough time to get in a third. When fuck all, we'll begin all over again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when they really, really want to twist the knife in the wound, okay? Having ruined your life. You know, you go out for a day at the seaside, okay? By the time you get to the seaside, you, you had a heart attack, you want to kill your kids, you want to tear your hair out, right, okay? Now, when they want to just add a little bit of that, when Cecil Parkinson and the Transport Ministry want to say, right, we've fucked up their lives, we destroyed their brains, we turned them into little Nazis, how can we twist the screw one notch further? I know! Let's have a sign that says, sorry for any delay. <laughs> is not good enough. We want the head of the Minister of Transport nailed to the final bollard. <laughs> so, so, ladies and gentlemen, you seek solace from the endless cataclysmic cock-up which is the British transport system. And you know that they are adding lanes to our motorways because they're congested. They're adding lanes to our motorways. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what's the state Hey, your dustbin, hey? In your kitchen. It's full, isn't it, hey? That dustbin, there's little colonised dustbins round it because you can't be bothered to empty the bastard. There's little Tesco carrier bags filling round. <laughs> now, if you had an extra dustbin next to that one, that'd be fucking full too, wouldn't it? <laughs> and that goes for the British motorways. And there you are, stuck, stuck there, dying in the sweaty hell of our system, breathing the fuels, letting your heart go. So you think, I oh, know, I'll take a break. I'll go to a service station. I'll have a look round the shop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've said bollards are useless things, but they look like the most useful thing in the world compared to anything that you can buy in a motorway service station shop. Be honest, come on, has it happened to you? Come on, be honest. You're driving up the motorway as happy as a lark. Suddenly, you get this desperate desire to buy a, a presentation tin of all butter Scottish shortbread with a picture of Warwick Castle on the front. <laughs> come on, it must have happened to you. Come on, darling, you're in the car. Hurry, hurry, darling, I'm going as fast as I can. Get on the hard shoulder, shoot up onto the slip road, into the car park, on with the handbrake. Quick, darling, hurry across the car park, into the shop, barge past the queue. Tell me, tell me, we're desperate. Have you got a Staffordshire china teapot with a pot of plum jam inside it? Yes, we have. Thank <laughs> Fuck for that, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing you could want. You wander around this kind of surreal, drug-induced collage of utterly fucked up bollocks. You're looking around you, you're thinking, this is my, this is my world they're selling here. This, this little, little, little wickerwork baskets <laughs> containing individual portions of Dundee marmalade. <laughs> Fuck me! I've been looking for some of these! <laughs> Comical porcelain figurines. Little comical porcelain tableau on a motorway. A little 19th century tramp fishing comically with his comical dog. Well, that's essential for the open road, isn't it, UK? You break down the AA turn up. Where's your fucking figurine then, mate? <laughs> you, need, you need your triangle, you need your AA book of the road, you need a comical figurine, you should have been out there. <laughs> Little dolls. Little military dolls. Military dolls, Scots guards with kilts. And no knobs. No, you look... No, no. <laughs> you know, knob, well, that's the army initiation ceremony. So you see if you're a puff, see if he cries when we cut his knob off. Let's see what we're going. <laughs> see, ladies and gentlemen, tea towels. Tea towels with I love Glasgow and you're in Cheltenham. I mean, seriously, <laughs> what are these shops for? What are they trying to do? Apparently, they're gift shops, ladies and gentlemen. They're gifts. Give them to someone, buy a little present. Who are you supposed to give it to, eh? Someone you hate. <laughs> what are we going to get the boss for Christmas, eh? Lump of dog shit. <laughs> Let's get up the service station, eh? <laughs> really stitch the bastard up. <laughs> there you are, boss. We got you an individual portion of Dundee marmalade. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> what are they selling, this boss? <laughs> 